Talent hits a target no one else can hit. Genius hits a target no one else can see. Compassion is the basis of morality. All truth passes through three stages. First, it is ridiculed. Second, it is violently opposed. Third, it is accepted as self-evident. A man can be himself only so long as he is alone. And if he does not love solitude, he will not love freedom, for it is only when he is alone that he is really free. Mostly it is loss which teaches us about the worth of things. Happiness consists in frequent repetition of pleasure. Every man takes the limits of his own field of vision for the limits of the world. Compassion for animals is intimately associated with goodness of character and it may be confidently asserted that he who is cruel to animals cannot be a good man. The person who writes for fools is always sure of a large audience. It is difficult to find happiness within oneself, but it is impossible to find it anywhere else. One should use common words to say uncommon things. We forfeit three-fourths of ourselves in order to be like other people. A sense of humor is the only divine quality of man. Treat a work of art like a prince. Let it speak to you first. Thus, the task is not so much to see what no one yet has seen, but to think what nobody yet has thought about that which everybody sees. Great men are like eagles, and build their nest on some lofty solitude. Religion is the masterpiece of the art of animal training, for it trains people as to how they shall think. A high degree of intellect tends to make a man unsocial. Life is a constant process of dying. Hope is the confusion of the desire for a thing with its probability. No rose without a thorn, but many a thorn without a rose. Marrying means to have one's rights and double one's duties. We can regard our life as a uselessly disturbing episode in the blissful repose of nothingness. Every parting gives a foretaste of death, every reunion a hint of the resurrection. If I maintain my silence about my secret, it is my prisoner, if I let it slip from my tongue, I am its prisoner. The shortness of life, so often lamented, may be the best thing about it. Buying books would be a good thing, if one could also buy the time to read them, but as a rule, the purchase of books is mistaken for the appropriation of their contents. Change alone is eternal, perpetual, immortal. The safest way of not being very miserable is not to expect to be very happy. Almost all of our sorrows spring out of our relations with other people. There is no more mistaken path to happiness than worldliness. Wealth is like seawater. The more we drink, the thirstier we become, and the same is true of fame. If we were not all so interested in ourselves, life would be so uninteresting that none of us would be able to endure it. 
life swings like a pendulum backward and forward between pain and boredom. To feel envy is human, to savor Shadenfrit is devilish. He who writes carelessly confesses thereby at the very outset that he does not attach much importance to his own thoughts. The business of the novelist is not to relate great events, but to make small ones interesting. Politeness is to human nature what warmth is to wax. Sleep is the interest we have to pay on the capital which is called in at death, and the higher the rate of interest, and the more regularly it is paid, the further the date of redemption is postponed. Music is the melody whose text is the world. Reading is thinking with someone else's head instead of one's own. We seldom think of what we have, but always of what we lack. Rascals are always sociable, and the chief sign that a man has any nobility in his character is the little pleasure he takes in others' company. If we suspect that a man is lying, we should pretend to believe him, for then he becomes bold and assured, lies more vigorously, and is unmasked. To free a man from error is to give, not to take away. Knowledge that a thing is false is a truth. Error always does harm. Sooner or later it will bring mischief to the man who harbors it. Ordinary people merely think how they shall spend their time. A man of talent tries to use it. What a man is, contributes much more to his happiness than what he has or how he is regarded by others. Men are the devils of the earth, and the animals are its tormented souls. Life is full of troubles and vexations, that one must either rise above it by means of corrected thoughts, or leave it. To find out your real opinion of someone, judge the impression you have when you first see a letter from them. Whatever torch we kindle, and whatever space it may illuminate, our horizon will always remain encircled by the depth of night. After your death, you will be what you were before your birth. Life is short, and truth works far and lives long. Let us speak the truth. No one writes anything worth writing, unless he writes entirely, for the sake of his subject. Night gives a black look to everything, whatever it may be. Everyone takes the limits of his own vision for the limits of the world. Solitude will be welcomed or endured or avoided, according as a man's personal value is large or small. Marrying means to grasp blindfolded into a sack hoping to find out an eel out of an assembly of snakes. We seldom speak of what we have but often of what we lack. Money is human happiness in the abstract, and so the man who is no longer capable of enjoying such happiness in the concrete, sets his whole heart on money. The two enemies of human happiness are pain and boredom.